Hi, welcome to Breath of Life Yoga. We are taking our practice outside today because the sun is shining and the weather is finally perfect here in Maryland. We're gonna be doing a vinyasa flow, connecting breath to movement, just like our last episode. I'm really excited to practice with you. Let's go. Come into a comfortable seated position on your mat. Bring your hands to Anjali Mudra Heart Center. Set your intention. Softly close your eyes, tuck your chin, and think of a word or a thought you'd like to carry with you throughout your practice today. Inhale to seal your intention. And exhale. Open your eyes. We're going to start with a simple seated twist. So take your left hand to your right knee and your right hand to the mat as you twist gently to the right. And then switch to the other side, bringing your right hand to your left knee, left hand to the mat. Gentle twist from the belly button up. Returning back to center and taking it over to the right for two rounds of breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Take it to the other side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Returning to center. So scoot yourself back on your mat, coming into staff posture, seated flat back. Dig your heels into the earth. Sit forward on your sits bones. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, reach for your feet. Take your four fingers, wrapping them under the bottom of the foot and your thumbs press into the big toe knuckles. You wanna have a long spine. Belly button touches the thighs. Maintaining your firm foundation in the legs. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Exhale, your arms to a T, preparing for seated spinal twist. Inhale, and exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, and exhale to the right. Inhale, arms back up overhead. Exhale, your arms to the T. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale. Exhale. Return your arms up overhead on an inhale. Exhale, fold forward. And breathe into your rib cage. Reach past your feet, arms up overhead, returning them down to the mat. So you're going to make your way into your tabletop position. So spread your fingers wide, shoulders above the wrists, knees below the hips. Stepping one leg back at a time into your high plank. Inhale. Exhale, press the mat away. Come into your first down dog. You can walk out your down dog. And then find stillness. Come 
come into your high plank, you're going to flow through your first vinyasa. Chaturanga, hug the elbows in close. Up dog. Pass the mat away to your down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts up to the sky. Exhale, step it through to your lunge. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale to hold. Inhale, reach your arms down, forward, and up, warrior one. Exhale, open it up into your warrior two. Gaze over your right index finger. Inhale. And exhale. And cartwheel your arms back to the mat. Step your right leg back to your high plank. Flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, left leg lifts up to the sky. Exhale, step it through to your lunge. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale to hold. Inhale, reach your arms down, forward, and up. And open up into your warrior two on your exhale. Cartwheel your arms back to the mat. Step it to your high plank. Vinyasa flow. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through to your lunge. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, to hold. Now bring your hands to heart center, coming into a twisting lunge. Take your left elbow to the right knee. As you twist to the right, you can always use your hand to level out your hips. Turn your hands to heart center and then to your mat. Step it back to your high plank and flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, left leg lifts up to the sky. Exhale, step it through to your lunge. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale to hold. Bring your hands to heart center and then twist to your left. Again, you can use your hand here to level out the hips. Come back to center. Return your palms to the mat. Step it to your high plank. Press it to down dog. Down dog is a place of rest and renewal. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through to your lunge. Coming into another high lunge twist, take your left hand to the inside of the right foot and then open up, reaching the right arm to the sky. Turn to center. Step it back to your high plank flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, left leg lifts up toward the sky. Exhale, step it through to your lunge. And then you're coming into your high lunge twist. Press your right hand into the mat. 
the inside of the left foot and open up your twist. Turn to center, stepping to your high plank, chaturanga, up dog, press the mat away into your down dog. Slowly walk your feet up toward your hands to the top of your mat. Trace the sky with your fingers, hands to heart center. Going to balance into a hip hinge, warrior three. So bring your right leg up to 90 degrees. You're gonna straighten it on through, coming into your warrior three. Step the right foot down to center. Take the left leg up to your 90 degree. And you're going to hinge through to your warrior three. Step it back to center. And just sink your bum down into your mat. Come into a comfortable seated position to recall your intention. Bring your hands back to Anjali Mudra, heart center. Recall your intention as you close your eyes. Namaste. Thanks so much for taking your practice outside with us today. Remember, check us out on YouTube, Armstrong OneWire, or Channel 100. You can also follow me at Chelsea Grace Clacer on Instagram. See you next time. Double header tonight, Dad? Let's take it one game at a time. Bottom of the sixth, game on the line. All tied up. Moments like these are meant to be lived in real time. With EXP from Armstrong, everything else can be replayed. It's an RBI single. Down the left field line, he has another hit and another run batted in. Scope his third EXP, home run. never miss a moment.